called those same legislators, and yes, we have testified before that forum. Why do we do this? We do this because we have observed the dysfunction in Albany, and we believe that this dysfunction can only be remedied by broad-based systemic reform. We do this because we believe that when district lines are drawn by incumbents to protect incumbents, our democracy begins to break down. The result is conflict of interest. We support legislation along the lines of, re of the Redistricting Reform Act introduced by Governor Cuomo, a proposal that you are no doubt familiar with. This bill would give the legislature and the governor input on nominating candidates for a nonpartisan redistricting body, and legislative leaders would ultimately choose the candidates. However, there would be restrictions on who could serve. There would be no party officials, no registered lobbyists, and of course, no elected officials. In terms of who would serve our body, who could serve, we would advocate that commission members be drawn from academic settings and from good government groups, both progressive and conservative. More than half of our legislators have already pledged to support legislation to create an independent commission to draw the district lines in time for the 2012 elections. Governor Cuomo has also pledged to veto lines that are not drawn in an independent or a nonpartisan manner. Now, we ask that our legislators honor their commitments and that means returning to Albany without delay to enact legislation to appoint an independent commission to redraw New York State's legislative district lines. Now, lat four members, I, I thank you very much for your time today, and I want to make draw a distinction. Um, I understand that because the legislature has not uh, passed this legislation that I have suggested and that so many have suggested that you are abiding by law and have been mandated to come here and hold these hearings and to go through this process. And I very much appreciate your time. I appreciate you holding these hearings and hearing from the public and uh, for all that you are doing for this process. Thank you. Thank you very, Thank you very much. much. Jean A. Johnson.